about yes. that? I wasn't <laughs> connecting. <laughs> Damn technology, hey? I, I hope Reese wasn't in charge of the um, IT department there. No, it's me. I'm hopeless at all of that. So sorry about that. That's all right. That's all right. Oh, How good. are you, Pete? Uh, yeah, really good. Really good. Um, did you hear the intro on what we're going to be talking about? I did. I did hear about that. I'm looking forward to um, sharing some pointers and how Tanny Two Feet are going at the moment. Surviving. Fantastic. Well, before before we get into that and, and how how life is now that you're, you know, hamstrung like the rest of us, um, how's, how are things going for you in the real estate world? I was saying before you work for Robinsons at the Junction here in Newcastle. Um, how are things yes. going in real estate world for you? Um, it's definitely slowed down. Definitely slowed down. Sorry, the kids are jumping in there. Um, yeah, real estate. You say hi, Pete. Hi, hi Pete. Pete. Sorry, they're all, hey, all here. Hi, Pete. <laughs> um, yeah, so work. Look, the inquiry has definitely slowed down. Sorry, trying to do this with kids. Please don't touch that. <laughs> um, it's definitely slow. Buyer inquiries definitely slowed down. However, we're still able to show properties at the moment. No more open homes, but with strict rules, we can still do one-on-one -on -one appointments. Um, there's still people out there that aren't affected by this, that are still getting their full-time incomes, and they still want to buy. Um, also, I also have clients at the moment that have previously sold, so they're committed to selling and they have to sell. So, look, life still goes on. It's it's not as great as it was a month ago. We've definitely had a hit, but um, there's some good opportunities out there, especially if you're looking to buy at the moment. Look, I think it's such a good um, piece of advice, really, at the moment. Like, there's, there's so much focus about worldwide about the coronavirus and the effect and the impact and for sure the impact's been massive and still continues to be in, and affects every aspect of our life but it's important to realize that life is still going on as well and i think there's something right. positive about something positive about the normalcy of trying to keep things as normal as possible with all this change as well so i'm pleased you guys are still able to operate you're still helping people to buy and sell houses so that's that's great news yeah, yeah, it's still going on. It's definitely quieter, but there's definitely um, a need for it still out there. People still need houses and, um, yeah, we'll be right. Now, when in the intro, I was talking about um, um, you guys and your adventures as 10 inch feet travelling around Australia and, you know, for, and New Zealand for the last 12, 18 months and how you've gone from living, you know, every day one adventure after another to all of a sudden being confined within four four walls how um what's life looking like in, at the allen's household at the moment um it's pretty relaxed actually i'm finding i don't know if it's because we've had this transition before of homeschooling because we we've got the three the three kids they're all at school and i think um because we homeschooled for so long that it's sort of like stepping back into our older ways but we're really enjoying the more relaxed, um, casual pace of the daily life. There's, you know, lots of just chilling out and long bike rides. Um, Mum's around all the time, which is good. Reese is still working. But, no, it's um, – oh, you can hear them fighting. Sorry. There's a lot of that still. Um, I, thought that was and, wild, I thought that was a wild cockatoo. Oh, no, that's just the boys. Yes, there's a lot of – a lot of them needing their own space still. Um, they've yeah. decided to get on bikes and they're racing up and down instead of sitting here. But, you know, that's just kids. Um, <laughs> but, no, it's it's actually quite nice. We're enjoying it, enjoying the nice, just quiet time, not racing here and racing there and sport and school and me at work. It's been kind of nice. That's fantastic, actually, because it, it, we are going to be in this sort of pattern for the next few months. So... I think the more we can embrace that we've gone back to an older fashioned almost way of life, haven't yeah. we? That everything is slower and yes. so any tips or what, what tips have you got for our mums and mums and dads doing homeschooling with their kids at the moment, if we can call it that? 
Yeah, sure. So this this actually, this time reminds me a lot of being on the road and the simplicity of life that you live on the, on the road where it's all just about waking up, finding adventure and what you're going to eat for dinner, like very basic life. And that's what I'm liking about this. But of course, in that you have to homeschool your kids. So the... The biggest tip that I would have is do it in the morning. So we always wake up, have breakfast as if we're going to school, go and get changed, brush your hair, brush your teeth and straight into school work. I find the kids are um, a lot easier to work with in the morning before they get tired and grumpy. So try yeah. and do bulk of it first thing. I separate my three into different sections of the house or the living area because I find that they... Um, fight and distract each other if yep. they're in together like now guys can you not fight sorry um and yeah try and try and stick to a routine is really important also don't be super overwhelmed don't think for a second that you need to do nine to three of schooling all day so when we're on the road we did distance ed we followed the school curriculum to a t and we could punch out a whole week between six to eight hours I reckon so if you do an hour and a half max of dedicated learning and just make sure they get a bit of quiet time after lunch to read a book or something like that um, then I think that's great try not to overthink it too much that's um that's just fantastic advice because I'm sure it's been launched on parents like so quickly has that's it, literally right from you know one, one day to the next now you're all going to be um professional teachers and teaching your children at home. So I think that's just really good advice. One of my clients said that um, she's also including life lessons in this plan as well. Mm. You know, getting kids to cook a meal once a week. Absolutely. Um, old kids. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, Even they're, little they're things. Old packing... Like find something that yeah, you're but... interested in and make that a project. So you're interested about space. Okay, off you go. Go and write me a story about Jupiter or go out in the garden and find something you want to make a story about or this is how we're going to build this. Yeah, definitely that. Make it fun if you can. It's not just all about maths and reading and try and have fun with it. And bribery. Bribery yeah. gets you everywhere. <laughs> well, I, think that, I think that works for our mums and dads as well. Oh, yeah, yes. A bit of that going on, I'm sure. Um, and then do, what, have, the kids got, have the kids got tips for kids listening out there about how they found schooling yes, from home. They do. So, Carter. Hello. Say hello. Hello, Carla. Hello, hello Peter. Good to What's see you, mate. With homeschooling. Um, my tip. That's okay. You remember? Uh, yeah. What do you mean by tips? Though? Tips. So, for other kids doing homeschooling. Oh, yeah. So, this might be really hard to do. We just get straight on. Straight in your work, even though I can't really do that. But I'm suggesting it. <laughs> it might be good. You but mean don't argue with your mum? Yes. Also, don't do that. It's not, it's not <laughs> don't argue with your parents. Yeah, don't argue with your parents either. I think, that, I think yeah. all the mums and dads will love that tip particularly. Yes. So thank Any you. Any other thank tips? Um... What he was saying is to get earlier, get stuck in, and then you've got more yeah. time to play in the afternoon. That's what you're trying to say, isn't it? Yeah. And if you're, like, bored and have nothing to do, well, I'm allowed to do this. I'm allowed to do – I'm allowed to do pages for tomorrow's work. So I, if I'm bored at night, I just – um Start early. Yeah. If I'm bored at night, I just do it at night, so – so he's got a head start on head the day start before. On the day. Yep. Fantastic. So you get to have, have playtime quicker. Yep. That's awesome. And um, what about Heath? Has he got any suggestions? Um, he didn't really have too many suggestions. You got any suggestions for kids and homeschooling, Heath? Uh, well, it can sometimes be a bit torturistical, <laughs> uh, but it's mainly fun when you just get it done and it's over with. And just do it in the morning, or if not, do it at night. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you. Uh, and he's off. <laughs> hey, um, 
talking about space and having space for kids, your backyard's awesome for the kids to have a little bit of play time and maybe get away from each other a little bit. Yeah, very, very grateful for a bit of um, a bit of the backyard and a trampoline and uh, even the driveway up and down on skateboards and scooters. Feeling very lucky for that at the moment, that's for sure. Fantastic, Lindo. Now, how, um, how are the kids going keeping in touch with friends? So um, quite a few different forums that they're using at the moment. Zoom is really good. They're doing that with school. So um, last week, the entire class can all get on and talk with their teacher and all the students at the same time. And then they can have individual conversations with the kids afterwards if they want to. Um, yeah. We have, the kids have got a program. Oh, they've just taken it off now. Carter, what's the programs that you talk to your friends on? Oh, it's called Discord and another one's called Roadblocks. And it's just where they can play games together but, and talk to each other. Um, and yeah. also like Facebook, um, FaceTime with nannies and cousins and all of that sort of stuff. We've definitely got all the systems and procedures in place IT-wise to be able to communicate. Like this was definitely preparation for something, wasn't it? Yeah, that's for sure. It's been amazing actually how quickly I think everyone's sprung into gear and we've been able to adapt really quickly with so many different aspects of life. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that I, I keep saying that all the time. I'm so amazed at how resilient people have been and how adaptable. Like this is only just week three. Yeah, that's severe right. severe restrictions. So it says a lot, doesn't that's it? We're true. very adaptable. Very adaptable. Yes. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Sorry. Well Are you ready? You guys are ready for the fast five questions? Um, yeah, you're going to have to excuse me while I yell out to them. They, they don't sit still. Even though we've just gone an hour and a half bike ride, they are. Uh, hey, kids, you ready for your top five? Thank you. Look, they're just like crazy. Come on. Come and sit down. Pete's one of your top five. Oh, my goodness. I'm sending them over to you. I'm not loud. I can't even send them to your house. All right, guys, come on, please. Okay, ready. Charles? All right. Favourite exercise? Uh, Push-ups. Uh, uh, surfing, skating and biking. Um, back ride. Oh, beautiful. Favourite favorite vegetable? Cucumber, avocado, cucumber, and catskin. Um, broccoli and cucumber. Oh, beautiful! I'm loving these questions. Favorite splurge or favorite favorite treat? This is a kiwi one. Uh, chips and dip. Chips and dip. Nice. Chips and dip. Uh. Pineapple on Skittles and cell straps. Um, mine's um, chocolate salad and, <laughs> Lots. and Skittles. And Skittles. <laughs> right, and Linda, what's your um, what's your favourite health supplement at the moment for the whole family? Um, so for the kids, I'm using an immune boosting tonic um, that you put together for me a while ago, which is great. It's just a spoon, a spoonful every morning. And um, we've been on that for a while now. And I have to tell you, we have not been to the doctors since before our lapse. So it's been over three years since these kids have needed antibiotics. And um so I keep taking their tonic, so it's obviously hopefully working. And multivitamins Fantastic. for me as well. A bit of magnesium is good to de-stress and make you sleep too, I reckon. <laughs> Definitely when you're, um, you're a fast nervous system person like yourself. Do you think Correct. the kids get their busyness from, from, from you or from Reese? Oh, we're both pretty busy. I'm definitely a bit more full on, I'd say. He's a lot more calmer than me. Yeah, can... <laughs> and one one thing just for or for the kids as well, one thing that you all can't live without. Uh mum and dad water and food cause like and air. 
<laughs> Good answer, Carter. Um, mum and dad, my surfboard, my bike, and my skateboard. And <laughs> watching TV. <laughs> watching TV. Yeah. Good one, guys. Good answers. <laughs> and then, just to, just, to, just to finish up, um, your number one health tip. Number one health tip. Um, so be prepared with food, 100%. I feel like we eat so much better as a family and as an individual if I've got food prepared and ready to go in the fridge. Um, and just enjoy, like talking coronavirus, coronavirus, enjoy this time. Use it as a bit of an opportunity to, to push the reset button and spend some really good quality time time that you're really present with your kids um and yeah enjoy the time we don't know how long it's going to last um hopefully it never happens again but use this as a as a way of chilling out de-stressing and and enjoying enjoying what's around at the moment which is not much and just your kids and your family and yeah <laughs> try and exercise keeps me sane too Get the kids out on a bike ride every day. That's the saviour in this household. That's awesome, Linda. Thank you. Thank you so much. You guys have been great. The kids have done an amazing job. Sorry. And, um, I'm sure other kids, sure other kids feral, watching <laughs> would have got some great ideas as well. So I'm going to leave you to your peaceful afternoon. Thank you. I don't know how peaceful that will be, but thank you. And we might have to organise a virtual... Um, get together real soon absolutely that sounds really good to me you want to say bye bye peter. So bye peter the other two See are off Carter. on their bikes bye, right, thanks goodbye, for having one. us Thank you, take care bye See darling See bye. See ya.